Hey guy, let me continue this conversation that I left off because I were I had to uh, check on one of the patients. So here's I'm going to continue with you on part two of um, why we need a deep cleaning and uh, what is the gum disease, what is uh, gingivitis, and all of that. So uh, I we mentioned to you that um, when the bone is lost. Uh, after the doctor or dentist determined that you have gum disease, these bone here won't regrow back. Even if you have a terribly like deep cleaning, you won't be able to regrow it. You just have to, um, that's where it's too late to reverse. Gingivitis is a condition where it can be reversed. Periodontal disease, it permanently receding gum and you do uh, uh, have a chance to get some bone graft uh, gum graft, but it's not going to be the same. It won't be the same. So um, the early state that uh, you manage the gum, the better is your your situation going to be. Um, so um, without any kind of intervention, uh, the gum disease will continue to destroy your teeth and bone, and you will lose uh, the foundation, and your teeth will come out one by one eventually. So um, <clears throat> it's not the same. Um, it is periodontal disease that the main the, the remain cause of tooth loss in adult population. Okay, um, the treatment of periodontitis a gum disease is involves several steps. The first step is remove the local causes, uh, causative factor in order to create biological compatible environment between tooth and surrounding per gum uh, tissue, uh, the underlying bone, left untreated chronic inflammation of gums and supporting tissue may raise the, the person risk of heart disease. As you can see that the um, American uh, Dental Society as well as the American Heart Association, we do have a correlation between the oral care and the heart condition. Uh, so you can see that uh, the hell of your mouth is linked between um, heart, stroke, respiratory disease, cardio, um, arthritis, diabetes, gastrointestinal disease, premature low birth weight, all related to gum, gum disease. Remember, preterm low birth weight baby. When you are pregnant, you may have a uh, uh, early premature uh, low birth weight baby if you if you have a bad gum. Now, what does that mean? It means that your your baby cannot develop fully term. Uh, you might have stomach problem. You may have diabetes related with gum disease, uh, and the arthritis condition also related to periodontal disease, gum disease, respiratory problem heart attack and stroke is going to be related to. So how we treat this? Uh, priority to uh, patient procedure, basically we are numbing you first with uh, local anesthesia and uh, we do a scaling root planning, which I talked about a deep cleaning. And um, what we do is once the, the tube is numb, uh, we use a hand scaler um, or sometimes we start with the, uh, the and the, the machine, the cavitron, the ultrasonic machine, break down the uh, calculus, the tartar, the plaque. And then um, you're gonna see a lot of bleeding coming out, uh, but we trying to remove different uh, surface of your tube, the back, the front, the, the sideway, try to remove as much of plaque as possible with um, uh, visualization of the, and the uh, tactile feeling of the hand scaler and all of that. And um, once we do that, uh, the idea is to get the surface of the tube is smooth like this, rather than the rough surface that you see here. Now, as you can see, the rough surface causing the tube bone loss right here. This is a natural bone. This is a destruction bone. So when you have gum disease, that's what happened. Um, so in dentistry, we're using these hand scaler, a very sharp instrument, so we can go in and smooth it out. And so the objective is to smooth the surface of your tube and allow the bone, the gum to um, retach the attachment from the detachment of the, the destruction of the bacteria. 
again, I mentioned to you the several steps that gum disease occur, change divided, early gum disease, moderate and advanced gum disease. The ultrasonic scalar is a good tool to use to remove it. Uh, this is the machine we're talking about. Basically, the water going in, supply a lot, a lot of oxygen, and the oxygen actually help to uh, break down the bacteria membrane because what happened is some of the, these bacteria, they are um, um, oxygen, um, mm, mm, anti-oxygen type of bacteria, which basically they want to live in a, the, the non-oxygen environment, which is below the gum of your tooth. So, um, so this is why we need to have the, the, the scaling and root planning procedure um, to help your teeth out. Uh, so your deep pocket will be will be re reduced, and the uh, and then the power scaler is what we're talking about using these tip here. There's several different kind. They call the sonic or the ultrasonic scaler, or it's called the uh, two different system. One is the piezoelectric or magnetic type of uh, scaler. They all work together to remove the bacteria for your teeth. Now, sometimes after deep cleaning, if uh, your gums still have problems. So uh, you heard about the laser technology. Um, this is a LANAP. This is a machine where the uh, gum uh, um, can be treated uh, after the deep cleaning and your gum are still not getting better. So we go in with a laser and basically remove uh, bacteria as well as the inflammation tissue. Other thing is the solution after deep cleaning is we're using the car accident to rinse your mouth. We're not sure that this is considered as a golden standard anymore because every year things change. This is what we do in the back in the days. So again, I want to summarize that you know the other, the other thing we can do also is they call a local antibacterial injection. So we put the antibacterial right into a socket. And uh, that we call a resin. This is something that uh, is monocycling, that the chemical going to your socket stay there several days and it basically destroy the bacteria uh, and it's regrow your gum. Many uh, different techniques um, we use. The, the idea is to um, destroy bacteria in, under the pocket and allow the tissue to regrow. Um, so again, you see, if it does, uh, doesn't work, conventional approach would be surgical approach. We, we, we flap out your gum from here, we flap out your gum, uh, we clean out the, uh, any defective bone, uh, any bacteria, so if, uh, tooth stru structure with uh, bacteria accumulation, then we uh, put a bone in there and, and soft tissue and we graft it and we're trying to get it better. So these are pictures that just show that how the gum is being opened. You see the bone defect there and how the gum being placed with the graft material and the gum here better. Same thing right here. So we open it up and uh, clean it. Some of the, these are um, required specialist procedure. Periodontist is the doctor that specialize in gum and they treat those infection case that severely some of them is not savable. Some of the case not savable. Some of the case the doctor will try to save your teeth. And these are the type of um, severe advanced gum disease. You can see on the picture here, really destruction going on. Um, these are hopeless scenario. We don't want to save these teeth. Those teeth need to be removed and need to get implant and danger. So um, yep, it get worse and worse, guys. So uh, these are pictures of my old patient case. You can see that um, a lot of plaque and part of it. You gotta treat this. So you see this x-ray, the bone is locked. Normally the bone is right here, but now you can see the bone the, that, you know, for, for example, this molar here, the bone's supposed to be right here, but now you lost some bone. That's because of heavy calculus stuck under the, uh, the bone, the gum. Uh, same thing picture, not very clear for me to present it, but. See, for example, right here, bone loss, bone loss because of the chalky uh, calculus that accumulate between the teeth right there and right there. You, you guys have to get the dentist, take a look at your mouth. If you feel your mouth have bad breath, that's a sign 
and, uh, that you might have gum disease in UK, you see right there, calculus, and right after the deep cleaning, you see much different. And you see the right, the right side we didn't clean, you see the left side we clean. Same picture. This is another side that we clean, you see before and you see after, you can see the big difference. Um, but if the patient don't know how to manage and take care of themselves, it's going to get back on the same thing. Your job is to brush and floss daily and maintain what we clean your teeth. Well, you can't just have the reliable from the uh, uh, dentist uh, do everything the hygienist do. You have to take care of yourself daily. This is a quick video how to we show you how the deep cleaning looks like. YouTube video channel, take a look at the lower front teeth. And this is the actual uh, count uh, accumulation of the many, many years. You can see the uh, micro leave the patient. The, um, so it's the patient came in at the right time. Uh, scaling the good planning for it's, deep cleaning. We were talking about so this. Use the, uh, the time. machine with a high pressure uh, uh, indication and pressure and remove those calculus and then we use the scalar to do this as sort of check make sure that we get more the uh, calculus removed from the surface of the tube and make sure that the surface of the tube is really smooth and after we do this you're going to see a beautiful result this is the, we did the, uh, the uh, one side of the patient now on the left side here, as you can see, is the gum, the normal calculus, and on the right side, still a bunch of calculus stuff because we haven't done it. We have to numb the patient to do this, otherwise, very painful, very sensitive. So, especially the patient haven't had a dentist work on the patient for a long time. So, this is the right after the deep cleaning on the right, the right side here. Has some bleeding, but it's going to be a healthy gum after a month from now. So, Thank you for watching. This is a quick example of deep cleaning, why you need a deep cleaning. Okay, thank you for watching, guys. Hey, good morning, everyone. Welcome back to my YouTube video. So anyway, I want to skip this. Thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoy this video. If you feel like I need to give you more information, feel free to comment below, subscribe to my channel, and I'm hoping to see you guys again for more and more video in the future. Take care, everyone. Have a great weekend. Bye-bye.